Hey guys, this is Josh, and for today, we're going to be talking about SOAP and REST API. Now, we're going to be diving into the overview of the both of these, and we're going to be comparing them in this video. So, without further ado, let's have a quick overview of SOAP. So, SOAP relies exclusively on XML to provide messaging services. Now, Microsoft originally developed SOAP to take place of the older technologies that don't work well on the internet, such as the dis uh, distributed, uh, distributed component object model or DCOM and common object request broker architecture or COBRA. These technologies fail because they rely on binary messaging and the XML messaging that SOAP employs works better over the internet. Now let's move on to the overview of REST. So basically REST provides a lighter uh, weight alternative Many developers found SOAP cumbersome and hard to use. For example, working with SOAP in JavaScript means writing a ton of code to perform a simple task because you must create a requ the required XML structure every time. Now, instead of using XML to make a request, REST usually relies on a, a simple URL. In some situations, you must provide additional information, but, but most web services using REST rely exclusively on the URL approach. Now, REST can use four different HTTP 1.1 verbs like get, post, put, and delete to perform tasks. Now, what are their similarities? While SOAP and REST share similarities over the HTTP protocol, SOAP, is more rigid. SOAP has a more rigid set of messaging patterns than REST. The rules in SOAP are important because we can't achieve any level of standardization without them. REST as an architecture style does not require processing and is naturally more flexible than um, SOAP. Both SOAP and REST rely, well on rely on well established rules that everyone has agreed to abide by, the in, in, by in the interest of exchanging information. Now let's go to the differences. So, unless you plan to create your own web service, the decision of which protocol to use may already be made for you. Extremely few web services such as Amazon support both. The focus of your decision often centers on which web service best meets your needs rather than which protocol to use. So this, uh, the advantages in using SOAP are as follows. Language, platform, and transport independent because REST requires use of HTTP. Works well in distributed enterprise environments. Uh, SOAP is standardized. SOAP provides significant pre-build extensibility in the form of WS standards. Um, SOAP has built-in error handling and SOAP has automation when used with certain language products. Now when we go to REST, REST is easier to use for the most part and is more flexible because it has the following advantages over SOAP. First is no expensive tools to required to interact with web service, smaller learning curve, Efficient because SOAP uses XML for all messages, but REST can use smaller message formats. REST is also faster, no extensive processing required, and REST is closer to other web technologies and design philosophy. So that's all for SOAP and REST. All right, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe because this is your homeboy Josh, and I have a lot of more videos coming your way. Peace out.